I like about uh, Dylan Sage teaming is like, well, first off, you got the double sheik. So it's like, uh, like when I was put, when you were, they were playing against you and Wes, like it was like they were a team like technical and like buff pushing you and being like yeah. precise. And you guys were team go ham. Yeah, you know? they were like a, they were a battle of attrition. They just yeah. whittled us down. Like I felt like I was in a sea of piranhas, just getting yeah. nipped at like from my sides. Like ah, they're not gonna kill you unless they get that dynasty hit. But <laughs> but uh, yeah, all right, already Munio's getting opened up with a quick 54. This is an interesting team already. We got Kirby and Wario. Yeah, like, two two kind of like waddly characters, like like, like they have great air control and can eat you. Yeah. So, but speaking of which, I, I do I do feel like uh, Munoz. We, you know, Wes and I were, we're talking about this in general. How yes. you know in Team Draft, Liberty to use more moves, mm -hmm. like at, at a, in, a, in a more like I guess like carefree fashion. And yes, m this would be a time for you get for, away with a lot more. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think like Munoz could do well with uh, just just biting people, racking up that damage. Yeah. I haven't seen him go for a single bite yet. Yeah, that's even in singles, it's a good move because it's a you know it's a command grab. Yeah, it's a spatial controller. Like people like don't when they see that bite open, they're like, okay, how do I approach him now? Yeah, you gotta like spot dodge it or something. And even then, I think you, no, I just spot dodge it because it stays out long enough. Yeah, he right. holds it yeah. and then he just spot dodge right in. So, so like yeah, we're, we're like figuring out how good it is. Ooh, ooh. Uh, dying at was, one. Was that that one? Was that up smash from Dill? I believe so. That so. Okay, I didn't even see him down there. I just saw him like go flying high because he, he blends into the stage. Yeah, like they're the color I didn't of the even stage. see the sheik there. He's a real ninja. <laughs> True tactics right there. Try to there. eat those needles. I like how, I mean, right there, you know, he just left with that bite open, but uh, Sage doesn't have any of that. He just threw the needles like, eat these. Yeah, hope, well, hopefully he doesn't take that as opportunity to stop doing it. Oh, you know? yeah. That's one of the things, like, even in matches, you don't want to get, like, if you keep doing something and it's not working, yeah, and that, that, that's what your opponent wants you to think. Your opponent wants you to think that that option doesn't work, when it could work still. That's it. Brings up a very valid point. I, I, you know me, I never I never let that mean stop I me. I do Bowser bombs all, all, all day, time. all Bs and Bowser bombs. You ain't, you ain't getting in my head. That's not happening. It's gross. But, um... Oh, he tried to... Wow, tried to up smash him out of that. Dylan trying to think ahead here. We got the... Dylan versus D uh, Devin versus Dill kind of 1v1 going on, on the right side, the brotherly rivalry. Oh, couldn't follow up on that. Munoz decides to back off. Go help his partner. Smart move. I always go sign. Always up. go. Uh, yeah, that, I I agree. I, I'm on board with that. Help. Always go for your teammates' help rather than trying to get him somewhere. Especially when it's like Sheik. That, that ch slightly charged F smash from Sheik. I almost really uh put the nail in that coffin there. And again. I really hate to beat this uh, the zombie horse. I keep reviving it and beating it back to death. Yes. But like, take a power. Shake needles will be a fantastic way to cover yourself. Just toss them out. You know, I mean, I put agree. yourself in a position where you don't have to approach this Kirby. I agree. I mean, I feel like it was like my Kirby, who's currently in Hawaii. Uh, would I think he would be going around like trying to get power? No, he does not even him. No oh, one, really? nobody does. And the only reason I say that is because let's say it's a standoff between Sheik and Kirby. Sheik actually loses, loses. that because yeah. now he can duck and then fire back with his needles and be like, "No, you're gonna have to come over to me." Yeah. So like, yeah, it's at some point, at some point, it's uh, you know, it's gonna be a vital thing to to consider. There was an opportunity for uh, Devin to get an up throw earlier on the sheep because there was a ledge right above him, but he didn't go for it. So I wonder if he just wasn't aware, if he just wanted to throw him immediately, just rack up some damage. I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, considering that the fact that we're playing teams, chances are he had his eye on somebody else instead of the ledge. Whether it's an enemy to come break it up or uh, you know a partner to come uh, you yeah know, follow up the combo. So it's, it's crazy. There's a lot of things to look at in this in and this uh, format. The chaotic of doubles. Let's not even go into triples. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a whole other beast. Oh, oh we got that up Speaking throw. of beast, that beast up throw on that platform, definitely shaving up a bunch of percent there. Oh, that fart is on deck. Yeah, I see. Oh, there we go. Go. Uh, he, How much percent was Dill at? He was he was like like fifty something. So yeah. I mean, it, it did a lot of damage, but like that would have sent him to the right. Oh, he would have been Woo. dead. Clear dead as a doornail. Dude. As a day. <laughs> All right. So right now, red team is holding. Oh. He knew he was gonna dodge roll. That was just that. That was Dills just knowing Devin's habits. You know, they're brothers. And he, he's gonna know his habits. So he waited there, saw the dodge roll. He he, he did the up before he even inputted the dodge roll. You know, like he knew. He's been. Uh, I, I gotta give Dylan credit. He's been really improving with uh, the use of that uh, up B oh, because he, 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 he caught me. He caught me with 
uh, with that at least like one or two times. I was like very impressed. That's one of my the greatest things from the Sheik patch is it requires the Sheik player to. Pl oh wow! Oh, it's just plummeting down. Just kind of fell. But yeah, what I was saying is like it requires the Sheik players to get more creative with their kills, and like that. So the, I think I think that helps them become better players. Not saying like the Sheik nerf was like yay or anything because you know, I mean, maybe it was yay you know mm -hmm. but I'm not I'm not like an advocate for nerfs but like it, it is helping for the players who are sticking with Sheik it's helping them out like with getting more creative you know uh, I actually this is just uh, my type of uh, trading methods in, in play yes. uh, everybody trains differently but uh, you know when Bowser had the really really good hoo-ha mm -hmm. uh, when it caught like no matter what percent it grabbed you at yeah during that brief stint of time there were Moments where, where when I play, I without telling the opponent during training, I take the match to say I'm not using it this round. I'm going to kill both their stocks without using that, whether it's my back air or forward tilt or down tilt. Just something. so you can start to learn. And that's why you see, you know, arguably my balls is pretty well rounded. Like I don't really, I don't need the up throw up air to kill you. Like I have tons of ways to do it. Just because I. I cultivated that aspect about myself. Because you know, you were, you were in talks with Sakura, I remember, because like he oh, was yeah. telling you that like Bowser was going to get nerfed right yeah, after. Yeah, I was just like, oh, like that was God. a mistake. I got to prep. But he, I signed an NDA, so I couldn't tell anybody. Yeah, no. But, <laughs> but now that it's out, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going back to Dream. This seems to be like a counter pick of the day. Yeah. This, I guess, I mean, so, a character swap to Marth. Interesting. It's kind of an exploit on the rule set because it's like. Hey, oh, we banned Battlefield. Oh, do you? Uh, so if you ban Battlefield, that means you don't want to go to Dreamland. <laughs> uh, I see. I guess I we're see. going. I see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's, to me, it's just the rules you need to get. Or it could, it could be a mind game. It's I like want you to go I to want Dream. you to go to Dreamland. So I'm gonna ban Battlefield. <laughs> see, there you go. You get in their heads. It's like like stage ban chess. Yeah. Like, all right, roll to B4. <laughs> we're like, huh, let's see what you're going. Like, no there game, no life. Just it's clashing. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Mentally clashing. The it's stage. like, I wanted you to do that. So I do this. <laughs> With any, as he pushes the glasses towards his face. Exactly. You're, you're picking up on it. Now. Good oh, tech from oh. Devin with that footstool. Devin is just trying to get back on stage. That's all he wants. He's running out of jumps. He just wants to grab that ledge. Uh, he gets nicked by that bear. He gets back. Uh, wow. Barely that was barely insane. Made it back. Good from Devin, though, for th those techs and recovering from all that footstool. Yeah, he, he definitely didn't let his nerves get the better of him. He did every single one of those jumps. Yeah, but um, so we got, um, we lost the stock first. It is one of the shoes. Dylan. Dylan. Because, uh, uh, yeah, the yeah. kill stage is the red. Once again, gets that footstool. Oh. That's the second footstool he's gotten in the past 30 seconds. Very, very clever. So that's, that's one way to put Kirby in a huge, hugely bad spot. It's just the footstool. Especially when he's low on jumps. <gasps> oh, my. Whoa. That's the second time I've seen Sage SD, and I've been here for half an hour. Damn. <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> hey, that's it's, man. It's, it's, the thing is, Again, people like to... I always harped on Sheik because I knew it was the fun thing to do. Yeah. But at, at no point would you ever catch me saying that, that she was hard to use. That, oh. I mean, I'm sorry, that she was easy, easy. to use. No, yeah, I was going to say, she, what? She, no, she is yeah, <laughs> she was. She's not easy to use. And yeah. she requires a lot of, uh, I guess, uh, like a RAM from your brain. Like, just constant use. So you got to upgrade that RAM, dude. Oh, yeah, you got to get to that i7 level. Yeah, you got to get to at least 32 gigabytes. Oh, so we got. Uh, uh, I saw Dill chase Devin up there. I was like, Nah, dude, he's got all those jumps. It's not gonna work. I gotta give Munoz for staying alive this long, because he's using a character we don't normally see from him, mm -hmm. and he's up against. He's doing that against you know two really strong players. So for him to get to 180, chic or not, that's to me that's still like pretty commendable. One tipper to anything could be devastating at this much rage. <laughs> Send him to the right. Oh, oh. I was like, he doesn't get punished by Sage though. That was very sloppy on Sage's part. Oh. oh. But the team combo is not going to be enough to finish him. Pushing him he into still the still has his jump. <gasps> Gets the tag at 221. This man is living. And that's why he has the tag wow. Cause yeah, because that, that was wow. <laughs> wow wow wowie, zowie. That's what that was. Wowzers. And uh, wow. This man, 225. He, he's, he's approaching that limit of uh, programming. I, I don't know what that number is, but you know that magic number. I feel like a uh, like an auctioneer. We got a 230. We got a 235 percent. F tail <laughs> is the one that finishes him at 235 percent. I have not seen the text get that dark in a long time. Jesus, that's crazy. Right, and let's see if we can keep that train going. Let's see if we can bring him some back up to wow. 200 again. That was so that was, that was great. Great awareness of team synergy there. Uh, Devin was like pummeling him. Not throwing out the throw because he knew that Munoz was right there, so he's going to walk up there and get that F smash off of the grab release. Uh, you got, man, there's so many details like that, the one you just mentioned that you just got to keep in mind. That's that's really who ends up uh, excelling in teams is whoever can keep you know in mind multiple game plans at once. Yeah. 
it's it's like the difference between singles and doubles is like it's less about adapting and more about paying attention. Yeah, yeah uh, just uh, um, structure and uh, game plans and stuff like that. And you, synergy. It, it, yeah, paying attention and synergy. So something that's outside of the realm of adaptation that can still put you in a position where you don't even have to adapt to anything. You're, yeah, you're the one you know taking charge. Oh, no grab there. Lead us to the face. Yeah, Devin, the pummel. Devin, just, Devin trying to get in there to knock him out, but then he just kept getting hit by the pummel. Uh, that's why it's that's so... That's kill, and they still got three stocks. This is looking very nice for Blue Team. Yeah. She has no... So get a follow-up. Does not get the follow-up he wants. I don't agree with Munoz getting that close. Mm -hmm. I guess, I don't know what he was think, thinking he was doing because he was facing left. Yeah, exactly. So if, if he had, uh, you know, the opponent in his right, face. right, yeah, that's another story. Well, that, that, okay, this man. I see what he's trying to do, but, I, he's, yeah. but he's getting too close. Yeah. Oh, oh, he gets that Timber oh. Death Smash, though. Does not care. Not at all. You know, I'll give, as much as, like, Munoz is kind of flopping that 2v1 there at the end, I'm still going to name him MVP of that. No, that game. Yeah, that I man agree. lost one stock. <gasps> John, numbers in the house. The killers are in effect. What do you think? I don't know. You think uh, they're gonna? You think we're gonna see any Fox from the kill stage? I would love to see Fox, or like Mewtwo. I, he's been messing with Mewtwo. We were doing friendlies. Uh, we did a Smash Fest uh, a couple weeks ago, and uh, he was going Mewtwo the whole day. That's cool. Me and Mewtwo, him. Me and him did uh, Shulk and Mewtwo in doubles, and we were beating uh, Dill and uh, Dill and. Uh, who was Dill team? I don't know. But we were beating Mike Kirby. Yeah, Mike Kirby. It was okay. Dill and Mike Kirby. We beat. We really? Beat, we beat them in a set. Like, a, you know, it was friendlies, obviously. But it was like, Still, no. It was just I, like, yo. You know they're not sandbagging. So yeah, like, yeah, it's like, it's the Monado's power, dude. That's it. That's all it is. Yo, when are we going to do triples? Oh, man. You can it's you imagine a, commentator triples me? I'm, I'm just saying. I, I can, I, I'm just uh, saying. No problem. No problem for me. I can. I got it. It's, I'm not scared of it. it, it four and four would, even then, four and four would no. make, me, make, make me be like, okay, maybe I'm out of a hard time. But like, it wouldn't even no. scare me. Uh, the thing about four v four is you just you'll have like four teams. You know, like three v three gives you the opportunity to get more teams into the mix. Yeah, it's a logistics issue. We and just don't have the raw amount of players. Yeah. If we got like 120 man locals, three and threes will be flying. I'm telling you. Yeah. But uh, right now, it seems like Red Team is flying. They're taking a lot of percent, 55, 58. This is... Oh, my God! He tried to get that B read, but just mistimed it. I'm liking the play from Munoz's Marth here. He's yeah, actually... I didn't know he had a Marth, and it's just looking very crispy. Shoutouts to <laughs> PB and J. Mm, crispy. Yeah, crispy. Jam it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, challenging that Shield Breaker with a Power Shield. It's one of those things where it's like you see your life flash before your eyes. Yeah. When you land that Power Shield, you're like, phew! Uh, air dodging that uh, dolphin kick. All right, red team hanging in there, getting blue team's percent back in a uh, natural order. Nice, hanging on the edge to make sure that uh, his partner kind of gets his, his his bearings in order. Uh, that was a, that was like a weird option against Munoz, uh, where they threw that grenade right, and Munoz was there stuck. And, but like Dill was also in front of his face. So what if he like would have countered the bomb? Would he have hit Dill there? Like would that have been like an optimal? That had zero chance of happening because Munoz is just not been countering. Yeah. He has not, uh, like, it's not a dig on. Oh, oh wow, that F tilt. That, that's, oh. that's a true combo. The F tilt into F smash. That's at that golden percent. I guess he knew. See, this is both a dig on him and a compliment. Yeah. Munoz has been keeping it basic but effective. Yeah. He doesn't he doesn't counter with Marth. He doesn't use bite with Wario. He doesn't use any of those like tertiary tactics. He just plays the neutral. Yeah, he just that's it. Plays neutral, swings the button, like press the button, swings, and, and then he gets it there. Oh no, he misses the counter, dying at 30%. That it's, is big. It's Devin's turn to hold this team. That's it. He's holding it down. They, they definitely did a literal flip-flop where it's just yeah. like they had a three to one stock ratio the other way around. It's just crazy. Got to get that ledge that he needs. It's it's a crazy situation. How how like important it is to time that R button. You know, like who, like who knew that this would be that important? A couple of frames would make all the difference in the yeah. world, right? Smash, man, unforgiving. Whether you're playing melee or Smash Four or Pro or any other game, few frames mean all the difference in the highest yeah. levels of. Play. I mean, I think it, it deserves to be difficult, in my opinion, because yes. it's supposed to be it's supposed to be like a ooh, look at that, he got it. Oh, bouncy holding fish that right jab, right though? You know, the thing is, that works against most people. But B bouncy like, fish has anyone yet. Or like Zero Suit or anyone that has like an arc that yeah. goes above you. That's exactly what Backslash? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Fear the backslash from the front, especially, right? <laughs> they need to fix that. They need to fix Shulk. <laughs> no, well, Shulk's fine. Shulk's fine, you think? I think he's fine. I think he needs some, some frame here. Ah, nah, he's good, dude. 
He just, he just, they just, he just needs a good enough player, in my opinion. That's that's probably true. I'm just a hater. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn, red team being pushed to the side there. All right, they're trying to regain stage control. See, stage control. If you ever hear anybody talking about stage control, and you don't, you don't understand like what does that mean? Like, I don't want to assume that it, you know what it means. Yeah, so. it's like they have momentum. It's like they, like they're not letting this, the characters get back onto the stage whatsoever. They're 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 the ones like make the opponent fear being anywhere on the stage. Yeah, it's just like you don't want you and your partner to have only twenty percent of the real estate. Like you just yeah. want to be able to move around and for them. To You're push playing you there. Monopoly with the stage. Yeah, and like once they got like all of the board filled up, it's it's tough to move. It's tough to not get hurt. Oh, oh. my god, he's going for the dynasty. Good try there. Yeah, the timing is that insane. It's hard. Time. Yeah, it's really hard, especially if you don't have the practice. Against like that specific scenario. Yeah. Oh, again with the jab. The they're smash. not. They're just not seeing it coming. Yeah. The, the F smash hero. Oh, not getting anybody there. Just really letting that jab fly. Yeah. He's like, I'll, I'll just keep you at bay. Whatever. It, it's really good though. The jab. Yeah. Jab one. It's just like jab. I'll just push it back. Whatever. That's it. Doesn't combo with anything, but that's okay. It's pretty safe at max. It's pseudo safe. Oh, oh. catching him air dodge. He threw out the counter though. Yeah, there you go. But that was kind of a bad time to do it. Whenever <gasps> no, no, it's oh, he's got to jump. just double jump. Very smart. Like using a counter, like falling. Oh my god! Wow, what was that? He went he very low. Accidentally fell fall. And the grenade actually coming through the yeah. double grenade. No, he's trying. I mean, what they know what they're doing with the grenades. They're trying to bait him into air dodging, and then the person below and punishes him. He was just screwed. Smart. <laughs> very very smart. And that's going to be a two-one clean sweep from. Uh, Dylan Sage. Technically a sweep would be too well. You you right. I'm just making no, sure. No, you're right. No, you're right. I, I, I ain't busting your I chops, say, man. You ain't busting my chops. I get it. You right.